Queries and capacities have the ability to completely superpower your workflows and your experience of using the app. They are built in such a way that they expand and simply extend on what you're already used to doing. And I'm going to show you that today by looking specifically at the object type queries. There will be videos after on the search and tag queries too. Now, before we start, I should explain that a query is basically a function that allows you to collect objects in your space based off certain rules that you define. And I'm walking you through that process today. Now, we have a query builder page, which looks just like this, where you first select your type of query. So today, object types, and then you have these options here. And to get to this page, you can either click add new content and search for query or you can do the same with command u and search for query and that will bring you to this page but a few moments ago i mentioned that it's built to extend what you're used to doing so i'm going to show you that specifically today object type queries begin with an object type so you first choose one i'm going to choose meetings today so I'm in my meetings object type. Just like always, you can filter and sort the meetings here. Now, what I want to do is add a filter where I only want to see meetings that are about a certain project. So I'm going to add a filter and choose my property I've got set up where the project includes launch new product. And that has given me four results. And now that filter has been applied, you can see that I can save this search as a query. If I click that, I can add a title and I'll call it new product meetings. And you can see that it is pinned to the dashboard, which means it is just like a collection available to see quickly in my left hand sidebar under the meeting object type. This query page has built on what we're used to, which is filtering, but it has given you extended functionality. I'm able to give it a name and what I can do instead of always having to come to the left hand sidebar or to open the meeting object type and apply that filter, I can actually go to the project page and search for this query. If I click enter, that is now embedded in the project page. I can still change how I can view it. I can still expand the view if I would like. And crucially, I can edit this query too. And now if I scroll down, you can see that that initial page I showed where you can choose the object query, that's been filled in for us based off what we were doing in this meeting object page. So you can see how this transforms. So I'm looking for all meetings where the project includes the launch new product project. I can add a couple more things though. If I wanted, I can sort these meetings by the date in which they occurred. So if I click sorted by date and oldest first, I can click update and that will change the view around. But a very key difference between filtering something in your object type here and saving that search versus the full functionality of a query is that you do not just have to look at one object type. So I'm going to click on my query here for the new product meetings. and I'm going to click edit. Now here there's an option for add object type. And what this lets me do is add in results that match other rules from other object types. So here in this one search, I'm going to create a space where I can see all of the meetings associated with the project and all of the people. So I can click add people. And then I want to add a filter. If I scroll through here, you can see all of the properties that capacities kind of innately tracks, all of the meeting properties I've added, and then all of the person properties that I've added. This one here is working on which projects. I then want to say which ones they're working on. Clearly launch new product and click update. And that has now showed me that I have four meetings and that there are two people working on this project. I can go back to the project page and now that query has been updated. I'll remember that we can customize the card view and just make that a little bit smaller by removing the content preview. And there I have this kind of working hub about this new product launch. So that's the premise of content type queries. We are collecting content based off rules and the rules that we apply in this case are things based off our properties. The reality of a content type query is that it will look different for everybody because it's based off your content types. If you have any questions about it though, let us know and we will do our best to help.